Hey everybody, it's Michael here from goodyreader.com and today I'm going to teach you how to use a VPN on your playbook so you can actually install BlackBerry News, BlackBerry Podcast, the new BlackBerry video service, and a whole lot more. If you live outside the U.S., when you update your playbook, you will not have the same type of update that people in the U.S. Enjoy. For some reason, Research in Motion regional locks a lot of their content. So if you live in Canada like I do, it's sometimes a kick in the pants that you can't even install BlackBerry podcasts and listen to podcasts. I mean, does that really, like, does the essence of the software really say, okay, it's okay for Americans, but not for the rest of the world? So with a goodyreader.com exclusive video tutorial today, I'm going to teach you all the steps involved in doing finding an IP address that you can use for a VPN or a virtual private network, and then what you have to do on the BlackBerry tablet in order to get the U.S. update and to have access to the U.S. version of App World so you can download apps. BlackBerry is very popular, especially with the playbook. This also works with uh, the phones as well outside the U.S. I mean, most of BlackBerry sales come in places like Indonesia, uh, Canada, and a lot of European markets. So the first thing that you need to do is actually find VPN numbers. Now, I like this website called hidemyass.com and when you visit that website you can click on IP port proxies and this is a free service that they provide you can see a lot of things here the reason why I just don't give you an IP address and say hey use this is because they often change and the more people that tend to use them the quicker that they become bogged down and they don't work for anybody so in order to find ones that always work just deselect all countries, click on the US, click update results, and you see a bunch here. I recommend ports with 8080. That tends to be not blocked by most internet service providers. If they tend to block specific ports, you can kind of search for ports that work for you. When I tried these IP addresses in my own playbook, the first three didn't work, and it was the fourth one that worked. So you might have to do some trial and error. It may not work on the first IP address that you use in port number, or it might. You know, it's it's very relative. So don't lose hope if the first one or two don't work. You want to try up to about five or ten. I would definitely and look at the, the speed and connection time too like you don't want to you wouldn't want to try this one because it's in a red that means it's super super slow you kind of want to go for the new ones that are fresh very fast and this way that you when you enter these numbers in your playbook you can actually download the update very fast update up Date all of your apps and install new ones from BlackBerry App World. And you can see here that it's dynamic, right? So this new one just went online and 21 seconds ago. So uh, bookmark this site. It's a great site. We're not affiliated with them, but I found that their selection of IP addresses are very solid. Then once you copy down a few of these uh, web ad these IP addresses and the port numbers, you want to fire up your playbook. And the next step in this video, we're going to show you how to edit the settings in your playbook in order for your playbook to recognize it as a US address based. So stay tuned. Okay, now that we have our playbook loaded up and our VPN IP addresses uh, in our hands or if you have your playbook and you're sitting at your computer now here's the next step that you want to do you want to hit your settings menu and then select Wi-Fi now your Wi-Fi address like by default you'll see this option right you'll see your Wi-Fi address as well as all the ones of if you live in an apartment building, you'll see a ton. If you live in an area that's pretty wired, you'll see a ton, right? Now, you want to edit your Wi-Fi connection. Now, I just can't really click on it. The best thing to do is for your home Wi-Fi address to hit Save Networks. And then tapping on that will bring up this menu. Now, this is the menu that you want to use your VPN for. So you can see a lot of information here, but it's really down here. This is the, the meat and potatoes. You want to click on use HTTP proxy 
and you want to click on allow intra access point handovers. Don't ask me why, but you definitely want to tell your tablet that you want to use a proxy. Now, this is one of the proxy addresses uh, from my computer that actually worked. So this here is the number that worked for me. Now, if you watch this video in the next 15 or 20 minutes, it may work for you. But like I said, numbers change all the time. You always want to use different ones to uh, make sure it works for you. Once you put in an, uh, a numerical ID separated by periods and then the port number, that's it. You want to just click on next, save and connect. And it'll give you some, you know, it'll basically tell you that you've connected. And as soon as you connect, you get a prompt here saying you want to update. This will give you full unfettered access to the US uh, app world, which means that you can now get Blackberry uh, videos and all that type of service. So that's it. Once this update is done, new programs will be installed on your playbook and then when you go to app world you'll see some new options here So um, yeah, I'm not going to look for them now, but they are there and you'll be able to get them all once the update has installed and you reboot your playbook. So once you connect up your playbook to a VPN, find a number, edit your Wi-Fi connection, and then establish a link to the internet. The best way to check if your IP address uh, works or not is to open up your browser, go to Google, if the page loads, your it's fine. And then you should see an automatic connection notification there. Now, you notice that we have some apps here, Skype, PayPal, Dropbox, SoundCloud, Google Finance, read it is fun and so on these apps do not ship at the playbook but we do have a section in our good e-reader app store this allows you to download playbook apps and install them on your P on your playbook we basically have converted a lot of android files to the proprietary black book blackberry playbook format and we provide video tutorials as well as instructions on how to side load or load in your own apps using your PC and your BlackBerry playbook. So uh, check that out. We have uh, around 50 apps right now and we've had hundreds of thousands of uh, views and downloads. So if you have a playbook, join in on the fun and install some Android apps to your playbook. And we hope that you enjoyed the essence and premise of this tutorial. This certainly helps me out. I can now get full access to a lot of the apps living in Canada I wouldn't normally have access to. So for goodyreader.com, my name is Michael, and everybody take care.